station, obviously. A lot of you guys know I've been doing a lot of work here in LA, um, but that's why we're here tonight, is to celebrate that, bring awareness to that. On top of that, I have a ton of giveaways that I want to give away. I got to get rid of this stuff. We've been cleaning the house over here, so I got to get rid of some stuff. And I have, um, after this live um, feed goes off, I will be running a, a live eBay auction. So there's a lot of cool stuff. We've got some Dodger tickets. Um, we got some Ram tickets. So I think you're going to want to tune into that afterwards. And all of these proceeds go to my foundation, which I'm going to get into in a little bit. But Joshua also Wally to the foundation. Um, Jessica has to sign this helmet, but this these <laughs> helmet. <laughs> so Jessica's going to need to sign this helmet because it's got a lot of my Olympic alumni teammates um, and yes. friends that are on the ball on the helmet. Um, Jessica needs to sign that. So that's also something that's going up on our eBay. We got passion. a lot of stuff to give away. We have so a lot of stuff why don't we just do that right off the bat? I mean, I think that's a great idea. I think yeah, that's a great idea. I, I, I'm thinking everyone at home is like, one, I want to know the announcement. Yeah. Two, she's got a lot of free cool stuff. So, yeah. so let's do that. All right, so give it away. We got a Dean Marini bat. Yes. Ooh. Are you serious right now? Yeah, it's a brand new CF9 bat. So I am like the luckiest girl in the world because I do have the best sponsors in the world. So Dee Marini has sent some bats to give away, and I think we have a glove yes. to give away. Right. So I think I'm going to do one raffle. Yes. Yeah. And go ahead and pick the name. Okay. The bat. This is All right. Here bat. we go. It's going to pick the name. These are people that are already sent in. So here's the, the trick with our raffle. So you guys all texted your phone numbers, and I'm not going to read your entire phone number. We don't know your name, but what we will do is I will read your area code. Your first three codes, we will text you, but you got to make sure that you get back to us if you want to get this, okay? Because I got all this stuff to give away, but all apparently you guys all want it. You just want me to know your name. <laughs> so what, while she's digging in the helmet, let's go ahead and get going with the next giveaway, at least the question, so you guys can think about it. Don't use Google. I want to know the quickest ones. What year did Natasha win a national championship at UCLA at the Women's College World Series? I want to know what year... With those UCLA Bruins, we got a lot of Bruins in the house, we got some non-Bruins, we got everybody in here. So you guys go ahead, respond, you, you read it Facebook first. Live, oh, Instagram Live. Mika got the answer correct. Whoa, Two all right. Three. Whoa, what that was that? We that was fast. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. We didn't even, we didn't even, who was what? that? The question was even funnier. Monique, yeah. Monique Mejia is the first to answer. <laughs> Oh yes. Okay. So I'm 
so excited because um, I've been doing a lot of work here in LA and obviously I would love to grow and I want to be a national organization. I want to empower young girls across the globe. A lot of you don't know, we have partnered with the city of LA and we have a league, Natasha Watley League that runs here in South LA and essentially each rec center is a team. So. Up until now, our main motivation has been providing a path for young girls to go to college and obviously we, I want them to play high school softball and to go to college, so we've been providing a path. So what's new and exciting is now we are providing a new path for our coaches. And, and I love that part of it. I mean, exactly. you want to help the girls, but the mentors, that's, yeah. I mean, that's the next level. Absolutely. So if we help our mentors, that's how we help our girls better, right? So Absolutely. we are trying to empower our coach mentors, and we are trying to uh, provide a path for them to, if they want to become collegiate coach, coaches, if they want to give lessons, if they want to run their own camps and clinics. I mean, even just oh literally, I'm coaching my sons literally right now. Like, I feel like at the smallest, youngest level, whether they're seven years old, eight years old, like, how can we help our girls? Especially, I feel like, inner city, which has been your focus. Absolutely. With your foundation. Absolutely. And I think, too, with focusing on our, the coaches, is it's, it's, it's an underserved community because um, not many people are thinking of how we're going to teach our coaches. You just automatically just come into that role. So um, I really want to focus on teaching girls. So I'm interested in that sophomore, junior um, that's in college, and she's really interested in coaching. Eventually, I would love You're to have there. an online platform where you guys have a place to go, and you can learn and coach. And then... I have my league where you can be hands-on and you can actually coach our young girls. Oh, and oh, by the way, Natasha Watley's running the whole thing, yeah. so if you need any tips on anything, how to slap, how to hit, how to play D, um, here's your girl. Well, not even, no. I think what's really cool is that I have the most awesome friends. I have, I played for the best coaches in the world, so I have the resources, so I'm going to pull into those resources and we're going to help our coaches out. So I think that's like my biggest, biggest dream is to be able to create that platform for those young coaches out there who are wanting to coach and that's where I'm going to need all of your guys' help out there. And how can we get their help? I mean, I feel like the biggest thing right now, obviously those of you sitting back are going like, yes, I want to be a mentor, I want my daughter to play, I want to be more involved, but there's the biggest way to get more involved, and that's how to donate. Because at the end of the day, there, I mean, I, I saw some trees back here, but yeah. there wasn't like money just growing. Yeah, so there's, money. Money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's no money growing on the trees at all, and um, we've got, and I just, sorry, and I'm just going to make light of who we've got in the house. I've got tri flowers in the house. <laughs> coaches and we're really trying to change lives and improve the quality of life for our young girls. Now make sure, okay, so I just texted Natasha to 41444 in case you forgot the number um, and it's going to respond immediately, which you just did to me, back to me and it said, okay, thanks for your pledge at NWF, but to complete your gift, click on this link. Okay, so just texting it doesn't mean that money magically appears from your phone into the foundation. So click on the link and then it will send you to her gift page. 
Now this is where this is where the follow through happens. So right here, I'm gonna go with. Ironically, everything is in twenty nine dollar increments. Twenty nine dollars, one hundred twenty nine. I'm going five hundred and twenty nine dollars for Tasha Watley. Oh my goodness! Whoa. Yes. To get right here. So who's gonna talk to her? that pops up on our screen, we're going to cheer for you. We're going to get a little crazy for you. We're going to almost bring you to our party, okay? So oh. it's going to be like you're here celebrating with us, which I feel like everyone probably does how loud it is. Now, one other thing. So for those of you that are like, oh, I don't have my phone, I don't have reception, I'm not big on the whole texting thing, you can also go to NatashaWatleyFoundation.org, okay? That will take you to the same page the text message takes you to. So NatashaWatleyFoundation.org. And I want to, I want you guys to bring it on. Come on. I mean, I just gave 529. What else do you guys got? Look at the streaming list of names that we're going to have throughout the night. Money raised and all the people that are given money. Yes. Pretty awesome. Yeah. yeah. How, you guys yeah. Feel? This How does that make you feel, though? It's not about me. It's about our young girls. And I think um, we all want to do our part where we can make a difference in the world. We want to change the world. And we want to, my, I'm in the business of empowering young girls. So. Um, I just want um, our young girls to have a path, whether they're a player or a coach. Okay, when one one quick thing, too. Yeah. I know we're going to get to more trivia, yeah. more giveaways, all the good stuff. But, I mean, what, you, a lot of athletes don't have the vision that you've had. I mean, you have played a very long time, may continue to play, may continue not. We'll find that out. But the biggest thing is, is you started this foundation while you were playing. I Why? Did. I did because, well, I have a story. I have a story. Actually, I was doing a, a little talk um, amongst inner cities here in LA, and I was doing a little tour after we came back from LA, from the LA Olympics, and, and said, I'm sorry, ma'am, what is softball? And so from that moment on, wow. I'm like, if you don't know what's out there, how can you dream about it? How can you envision it in your life? How can you see that being a part of your life? So from that moment on, that's been kind of my motivation, is just providing that path and providing that opportunity just to introduce it to young girls who may not come in contact with softball yeah. day to day basis, day to day And there's so many, I feel like we're lucky. Yeah. And so many awesome things that softball yeah. has given us, um, including giveaways. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say so, giveaways? <laughs> so I'm going to throw out another question yeah. for all you. Andre and Mo, you cannot yeah. answer. Yeah. You, you get free stuff from Pasha all the time, I'm yeah. sure. Who the bubble? Especially because this one's easy. <laughs> yeah. um, for those that know Tasha, who is Natasha's Favorite music artist. Yeah, he get this wrong. Yeah, you just don't know. Yeah, pretty much. Uh -oh. like, anything uh -oh. Tasha. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Yeah. So what's gonna happen is I am give um I'm going to the, my next giveaway for our next trivia is our Prevenex. So Prevenex is another one of my sponsors who actually has you know me being an old athlete my last year playing last year um they uh came on board and it really changed my life. Um, changed my life because not only every day I knew exactly what I was putting into my body and if anybody knows me, I'm not like the biggest health nut. I'm just, give me a ball, give me a bag. Let me just be athletic, um, but I think it, it gave me a little bit longevity in my last year playing last year. It was the first year I took it and I had a lot of problems with my knees. Um, so taking some joint stuff. So this is what I'm giving away, and they stepped up big and huge in um, giving us some stuff to give away. Everybody wants to give away stuff, which is awesome. And we have a question. So who's, do we have any of that? Cindy Malone. Oh, person. Cindy Malone. Yes. yes, Cindy. And she knows the answer. And she answered Beyonce. Oh my yes. God.
people that uh, texted before, you're going to be in that raffle at the end. And also, our 29th donor, so we are going to clear this thing out because these are all of our supporters currently. Um, and we're going to start calling you out because we're getting some donations. Look at this, 9,000 with 120 wow. donors. Woo! Yes. Okay, what's that? What's that? Yep. I'm actually putting in a donation right now. Okay. So yeah. if, you, if you don't have cell phone coverage, come back and see me. Yeah, and I also, people too, yeah, if you don't have cell phone coverage, we've got our laptops back in. Again, 41444. Two, you text that number, text Natasha, or go to natashawatleyfoundation.org. And you guys, I can't even tell you, I mean, just being around young girls, being around Natasha, the influence that she has had, and the network that she has created. But when you talk about what wouldn't have been if she didn't have the opportunity to play softball, I mean, these pictures, I mean, can we be embarrassing for a moment? Like, I mean, like, I'm Carol Watley right now, and she's like, why don't we just like hand these out? Everyone, everyone gets a, this is Tasha pitching. Can you guys see this right now? This is Tasha, it's a pitcher, right here. I'll take that. All right, Carol. When she came to you, she was a little spider. I'll take it. And we got Tasha's mom and dad. Yes, right here. You get this part. Come here. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we got Carol. So we have our we have our first donation. So you got you got ten right now. Woo! Ten! Yeah! yeah. Everything. This is Natasha. 
That's what I said. That's the first pair of shoes. Okay, first pair of shoes. Yeah. Okay, I was like, when she started walking. Girl. Yeah, yeah. We're sprinting. Yeah. Yeah. She's yeah. walking. First pair of shoes. <laughs> Ridiculous. Okay. Um, Tasha, oh, um, we got a couple of these. The Honda Award is a. That's not a giveaway, is it? Okay. Yeah. So I'm just reading, like, like, if you're in my house, I'm just doing, like, show and tell. She hates this everything. Right I know. This is not why we want to do this. Not why I want to do all this, but I, I want to bring attention to my own. Yes, yeah, but you have amazing parents. You have amazing parents who provided you opportunities to play. I did. This is the outcome, yes, but the athletes isn't what it's about. And I think when you're thinking about getting girls actively involved in sports, period, it is so important just for their health, Absolutely. for the fact that they stay in school. I mean, the numbers are out there everywhere of just being actively involved. Yes, you can be Olympian. Not everyone's going to be Natasha Watley. And not everyone has mom and dad True. like she did. And that's why Very I true. love what you're doing, because every girl deserves the chance to play, especially this amazing yes. sport. Some of the best. Yes. journey and let me just say this I never thought softball could bring so much joy into one's life wow. yes I mean she yes. always says my dad my dad didn't know anything about softball well what I knew about softball was slow pitch I knew nothing about fast pitch and she's right fast pitch is a whole new game it gives women young ladies so many opportunities to go to college, to make a career. And great friends. Yeah. And great friends. The friends that we've made through the sport of softball from, her, from age five in Orange County, in Irvine, California, to UCLA and Westwood, to Woo! Orlando, Florida, and to Athens, Greece, and to Beijing, China. Wow. Yeah. I mean, it's a surreal journey that I wish everybody had the opportunity to enjoy. Yeah. Wow. And just your parents, I know them, I know them well, and I know they've been on a roller coaster too, upward, and now that you're Mrs. ESPN. <laughs> <laughs> Tasha's parents, 
who raised a young woman into this strong, independent person that is a huge influencer. What I value the most isn't the speed, isn't the open backhand, isn't the championships, isn't the Honda Cup. It's who you are as a person, who you became, and her humility, her grace, and her caring for her teammates always was maintained from the minute she started on campus. So I'm proud of you, and I am so excited about what she's gonna do next. A path to coaching, and so many of the young women out there that know we need that. I am just thrilled for you and excited and cheering you all, all the way. And I also wanna put a shout out to Pac-12 is represented here, and in our friends and family circle oh, is yes. one of the greatest yes. players ever to play at University of Arizona, yes. Amy Chella. <laughs> <Chilliwell. laughs> yes. 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 I'm not talking. We would go I'm off the way. I'm not in my house. It's okay. I know. It works that way. Because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, it's about the people that are driving this sport and people like Amy, Tasha, Jess. It's going to be great, and the future is bright. So thank you for having us no, today. Thank really you, Jenna. No, yes. thank you. Guys. I'm, 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 I'm not going to let you sit down until you give one funny story on Tasha. Uh, <laughs> thank you. There's, there's too many. There's too many fun stories. It's really about those of you that are enamored by her and have watched her career. I would love to say, oh, here's a silly story, but from day one, Natasha Watley just wanted to get a little bit better every day. She had a lot of pressure on her. I think the funnest thing was she came to us as a short gamer. Uh, I saw so much potential in her big game and to be able to just be flexible and say, okay, I'm going to try it. I'm going to go long and I'm going to go short. I'll always appreciate that because we collected so many RBIs when everybody went into a short defense. So not necessarily a funny story, but one that I certainly appreciate that we had her in the blue and gold. And I'm super excited as a former coach. I'm super excited that Natasha Watley is a part of USA Softball's uh, national team program. And I'd love to see her. I was trying to talk her out of retirement, but <laughs> yes. I'm like, I want to see her in the red, white, and blue one more time, but I bad? understand. Is it yes. bad? Like, everyone was cheering and I started crying. I was like, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Well, the night is young. The night is young. We can still work on her. We're still trying to we'll talk about her. We'll check back in a couple hours and see how it goes. Michael Jordan could come back. Right? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe 2020. Tasha, Tasha Watley coaching with USA Softball, that's a pretty good consolation that prize. Good. And we have a lot of confidence with our national team out there and our national team girls that are doing great things. I'm going to get yes. one of your teammates, and I would say I'm of all the teammates, as yes. much credit yes. as I want to yes. like, give. I mean, yes. you got Jenny Fish, you got Monica yes. Abbott, yes. but I would say yes. I would put number one. It's Tariah Fox. Absolutely. Tariah! Yes. Yes. Come in here. Come in here. Hey, girl. <laughs> Natasha. So, Sue so would give us the dirt. Uh -oh. <laughs> 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 so, this one time. <laughs> First of all, Taraya, one of the best players I've ever seen play. And I remember playing against you when we were like 13 years old out of Arizona. And we were just like, everyone in California, the only California players to play. And all of a sudden, we played you guys. And I was like, who is this? And of course, she's going to UCLA. You guys were roommates from freshman year on. I remember playing in the Olympics, you guys were roommates. Yes. I mean, it was inseparable. <laughs> well, we were yeah, inseparable. She was with me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, but that's the thing. I, this is what drew me, drew me to the game. I like instantly like had built-in sisters, obviously, like try we were at UCLA together and like we just instantly like gravitated to, to each other. I don't know why. So how do you, <laughs> <laughs> why do you like me? <laughs> watching her play. Um, I think I, that's how I stay young, is I think I still can do it, because she's doing it. Um, that's probably why I hurt myself still. Um, no, I'm, I'm really excited for her. I know great things are to come, and it's fun, just all the ideas she has, and bouncing everything around, and, and what's coming next. And I don't even think I know all the ideas, and I just can't wait, because everything with Natasha, 
is way up here. And that's where she sets the bar and we're all just chasing behind her. When did that, I mean, I feel like you think back to stop being humble. Stop I know, being, yeah. <laughs> she does, she does, I love it. You know, she's just joining in. If you love Natasha Wiley, text to 41444. <laughs> 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 Yeah. 
love you. We wish you were here. She made some really good margaritas, and there's a taco truck. Woo! Like, yeah! Her, her house is like tucked to the hills. It's gorgeous. I'm over here, like, laughing and celebrating like I'm there. <laughs> we wish you were here, Jenny. Yeah, I miss you too. Thanks for calling, Jenny. Yay! Yay! Yeah. Yeah. We love Jenny Finch. Veronica Nelson, Cal Berkeley. Oh my yeah. God! Veronica Nelson. 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 Do you remember what such a crazy monster hitter she yes. was? Oh yes. I, oh, yes. Oh, yes. 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 Yes.
see you take that baton and just continue your career in the 2008 Olympics with the UFSA Pride as well as playing in Japan and winning championships there. I'm so excited to see the difference that you have made and are making in the sport for young girls coming up, many who dream to be just like you. So thank you for everything you're doing. I'm one of your biggest fans, Tasha. So thankful for the time we have again. Tasha, oh, oh, congratulations. Oh. Happy retirement. We love you so much. We're so sad that we're not able to join you. But all the way from Omaha, Nebraska, we're sending you all our love. And I'm so excited to see what you do in your next chapter. Uh, softball World's going to miss you. You were prolific. And it's always been one of my life's great honors to have played with you. Um, not only because of how awesome you were on the field, but how awesome and what a big heart and great, great person you were off the field. We love you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Momo. Yeah. 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 Let's go. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. All right. Best. If that didn't move you, it should have. And if you want to think about the legacy that Natasha Watley is going to leave, it is with her foundation, NatashaWatleyFoundation.org. I'm going to beat it into the ground because this, if you want to buy in to what she's going to leave, yes, we will remember what she did on the field and all the accolades and everything. But to be honest, I think her biggest mark will be with this foundation. So please, it, it does need help. It does need money to keep running. If you can text 41444, text Natasha. Natasha, Natasha, yeah, Do it Natasha. Now. Or go to NatashaWatleyFoundation.org. Yeah, we are just eight donors away, though, oh, from that Echo oh. Black. So if we can get eight more donors to get that Echo Black, um, we'll gladly give it away. Go donate now. If not, I'll just keep it for myself. I'm just going to keep donating until I get it. And we have a call from Lovey. Oh, Lovey. Oh, she's Hey. Oh, how do we, uh, you can, like, zoom in on her face, too? Just turn the cap, turn the phone around to him. Yeah. I'm going to try to. What is it? Hi. Hold on. We Bear with us while we're live. I'm trying to get on the screen. Um, no, the, the oh. screen. Oh, you won't be able to. Why not? Huh? Hold on, lovey. <laughs> Sorry, but <laughs> Hi, love. Oh, we're back in business. Here we go. Hi, lovey. Yes, you are. Way. Yeah, just turn it like that. Hi, Lovey. Lovey. There's Jess. Hey. <laughs> so, Lovey, how, how, what's your reaction? I mean, I mean, we love Tasha, right? Like, we're so excited, but I mean, when you found out she was retiring and hanging them up, like, how'd that make you feel? Excited? We're super excited to have so we can hang out, Pasha. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm not gonna save lives like you. So I'm like, I'm gonna try to change lives, but I'm not gonna. I'm yeah. Lovey, thank you for calling. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Yeah, Lovey. 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 Yeah, I touched on it before, you guys, a lot of people have asked, like, so what's next for you? And I'm just taking over, but what's next is, again, I'm coaching the Junior Women's National Team this yes. summer. Yes. Really yes. 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 bring America back to the top. That's our job. That's our mission. Obviously, uh, 2008 still, I have nightmares about it, but. That's why we're going back to Tokyo. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Right. Go right. get it. Right. Go so get it. Right. I know we have Japan listening right now. Yes, we're coming. Tokyo. Look out. Love to share, so um, I'm excited for all that. Yeah. 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 Yeah.